Hey there, film marketers. Professor Walters here, and today we're in Vicenza, Italy. And today we're going to talk about is probably one of the most key elements of marketing, and that is the marketing mix. The four P's of marketing: product, price, place, promotion. And each one of these things are key to any marketer understanding their market, what they're going to do, how they're going to succeed. And so let's go through these four kind of basic topics to get started. Now, you first off, you have your product, right? Now, your product captures value. It's something that people really want. And the thing is, a product isn't just a thing. It's not just, you know, a phone or something like that. It could be a service. It could be an idea. Any of these things that people feel is valuable, that's creating it. That's something people that it's something they want. Whether it's I want a hot dog or I want some bigly pasta here in Vicenza, there's something that people want to have. And there's things we can do to kind of increase the value that we create with our products. I mean, think about it. If you have kind of a basic car you know a two-door car that's really tiny that doesn't have a lot of power you don't expect to spend a lot of money on that do you no but if you have a car with nice seats in it and a good stereo and all kinds of stuff like that you're like yeah I, I like this a bit better that's creating more value for me I really want this more and so you can do those things think about services if you're a better company at delivering a good service aren't you willing to pay more money for a restaurant that gives you good service than a restaurant that gives you bad service so we can create value that way so that's your product okay now the the next thing we look at are the prices and price is actually how we actually capture value what does it actually represent how much do people value these things that we're doing and the thing is how many of you have been inspired to buy something because of the price oh buy one get one free sure I'll get that or it's 50% off sure I'll buy that price is really an important thing and as a marketer you can use that to market your products hey we're the dollar store hello you have these kind of things you have that and so when you're looking at price you got to realize is price is different things like there's actually a price that people pay right there's the manufacturer suggested retail price we might look at that but really price depends on how people value that product okay because I may feel something's worth ten dollars and you may think it's worth five dollars we have different values for those things and so we got to find the right price that captures that value for people because if you think about it if I say hey I'll give you a two-week trip to Italy for two thousand dollars you're like Wow, that sounds like a great deal. Well, yeah, if you're flying from Illinois to Italy tomorrow, yeah, 2,000 bucks, that's just gonna be your plane ticket, let alone a hotel and eating and stuff like that. But the thing is, if you're living in Padova or Venice, which is like, you know, 40 minutes away, you're like, why would I spend two grand to go to Vicenza when I can stay at my own house? There's no value there for me. So you really have to think about it in a perspective kind of thing, all right? So think about that. Also, when you think about prices, you want to think about how people think about prices. Historically speaking, I mean, ask a college student what their parents said when they told their parents what the tuition bill was. Like, oh my God, when I went to school, it was only a couple hundred dollars or a couple thousand dollars. And now it's like a couple hundred thousand dollars. Well, yeah, over time, historical prices do change. So that's something you got to think about. And another thing you got to look at is capturing that value with price is sometimes you look at it in terms of, you know, quantity, quality, these kind of things. Like, yeah, if you're going to be flying here to Italy from the U.S., yeah, you can fly economy, no problem. You can fly nonstop Chicago to Venice, easiest pie, but you're going to pay more than if you fly to Paris first and then fly to Venice, okay? So we realize that, hmm, people value that direct flight more than taking a connector flight, so we can charge more for that, okay? So you see those things out there. Also, people are willing to pay more money for business class or first class because they get, you know, maybe better service or better food or more leg room so I have plenty of space so when I get here and I feel relaxed so we look at those things okay when you're looking at capturing those values okay now the third P we're looking at is place that is delivering the value how are we gonna deliver that value well you think about it think about the retail places you're gonna sell your product in won't that influence how it's perceived if I'm selling it at a cheap store it's gonna be perceived as cheap if I sell it at a high-end store it's gonna be seen as a higher end more quality product and so we have those things Think about your website. Do you buy stuff from a website that looks kind of shady? Heck no, you don't do that. You're like, hey, it's gotta look legit for me to give them my credit card. That's also part of delivering the value. But also, how do we deliver the value of a good night's sleep at a hotel, right? We have to think about that. What goes all into that? Oh, having good beds, nice pillows, quiet walls, maybe not near a street or thick windows to block the sound. We have to think about all those things that we need to do in order to deliver the value to people, to that place, okay? And then the fourth P is promotion. We need to promote our goods, right? We need to promote our products. And promotion is 
communicating that value. We need to let people know. I mean, think about it. Has there ever been a concert you heard about after the concert happens? Or a friend of yours was in town and you found out after they post their pictures on Instagram? You're like, wait, you were in town? I didn't even know. Well, the same problem happens for companies. We've got to communicate that value. Let people know when the concert is. Let them know what kind of food we have at that restaurant. Because if people don't know what Bob's restaurant has, they probably won't go there because they don't know what Bob's is serving. And the thing is that fourth P, that promotion, is probably the most common thing people think about when they think of the four P's of marketing. When they think of marketing in general, they think of more the advertising side of things, right? We're communicating to the customer. We're promoting to the customer. But the thing is, marketing is much more than just advertising. Marketing is creating those new products, right? We're trying to figure out what to make, so the first P. We're also trying to figure out how we price things for pricing kind of stuff, capturing what it's really worth for people. We have that deciding where we're gonna sell and how we're gonna sell things that's that place thing delivering the value all these things go together to make our marketing mix and what you need to realize is all these are important for when you're trying to sell your products or promote your products whether it's ads or stuff like that so I hope this gives you like a nice basic idea of what the marketing mix is, what those four P's are. If it does give you a good idea, hey, give me a thumbs up so I know we're doing a good job. If it doesn't, just leave a comment down below or something like that so you have an idea there. Uh, but I hope this does help to give you an idea of the four P's of marketing. If you wanna learn more about marketing, hit that subscribe button. We've had all kinds of marketing videos, business videos, YouTube help videos on this channel because we're trying to help marketers out there, business students out there. We're trying to help new entrepreneurs and YouTubers and all kinds of people do a better job of marketing themselves and being part of the business world and maybe helping you get a better grade on the exam if you're a student. So I uh, do appreciate your likes and your subscriptions and have a great time and I'll say bye from here in Vicenza.